down from Pennsylvania and Ohio, Kentucky and West Virginia, Missouri and Illinois, down from North Carolina and Tennessee. In 1922, a flood came down the river. This actually holds the record for height in New Orleans. Down the Monongahela, the Allegheny, Kanoa, and Muskingum. In parts of the city, it was, uh, the water was being held back by warehouses up against the river. Uh, and there was a crevasse roughly 15 miles downriver. Uh, crevasse is a levee break. And it was a tremendous amount of water poured out of that crevasse probably at least 250,000 cubic feet of water a second. To give you a sense of how much water that is, Niagara Falls in flood carries about 200,000 cubic feet of water a second. So you had more water going out of the Mississippi River through this levee breach than you actually have flowing over Niagara Falls in a big flood. There's a natural levee that the river, the river created as the river floods, as it overflows, the heaviest sediment, the biggest particles are dropped first. So it builds up sort of a natural levee closest to the river. And then as that flow continues, it drops other sediment in, in lower ground. So we're standing on both a natural levee and of course the levee has been built up here uh, to protect people. So those levees have had a dramatic impact on the rest of the delta. Because before there were any levees, when it overflowed, I mean, you used to refer to it as a high water because it would overflow the entire area. Uh, and that was sort of a gentle rise. Uh, only when humans started building levees would you get a breach in a levee, which would be an explosive, dramatic event. She spread her arms over thousands of acres of land, and she left farms ruined, stock ground, houses torn loose. Well, that, that crevasse had a devastating impact on uh, the, the people in St. Bernard and Plaquemine and parishes below where that occurred. There are actually rumors that that uh, crevasse was the result of sabotage, although I personally don't believe that. Uh, I think it was natural. There is still there today a lake uh, that is probably 90 to 100 feet deep. Uh, there are all sorts of rumors that there's actually a locomotive at the bottom of that lake, uh, which may or may not be true. Uh, there was a railroad line that ran right down uh, that area. Uh, it's certainly quite possible that the crevasse took uh, a locomotive with it. Uh, and it is a great sight. It's a, you know, a beautiful lake, uh, and it does have that kind of interesting history uh, behind it. Mm -hmm.